it is awesome to see you all again and hope you're having fun following along with some of these semi-pro workouts. Uh, meeting us at two o'clock for a little bit of a mini session. Just getting outside, it's so beautiful out. Um, get your slip and slides out and your pools out and do all the things that make us happy. Um, I came up with this workout yesterday. Um, actually, it's one of those ones that gives me kind of butterflies because I'm excited to do it. It's gonna be terrible, but it's gonna be really fun. So I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Uh, start with a question from Alana. What is your favorite movie? Easy, hands down, The Princess Bride. It has, since the first day I saw it, the first time I saw it, I bet you I've seen it 30 times now, but first time I saw it, I uh, loved it so much. True love story, and you guys know me. It'll make me cry just to talk about it. <laughs> um, all right, so you work out today. It's one of those two minute of work workouts. So two minute AMRAPs. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do three series through it. So first one is two minute AMRAP of 10 burpees and 10 handstand push-ups. In the remaining time, as many jump lunges as you can do. Then you get one minute rest. Another two minute AMRAP of 10 sit-outs on each side and 20 sit-ups, and then as many jump lunges as you can do. One minute rest, then two minute AMRAP of 20 dips and 20 kettlebell swings, and as many jump lunges as you can do. One minute rest. Then we're gonna go through that same series of exercises, but instead of the jump lunges, we're gonna do those battle ropes. And if you don't have battle ropes, which most of you do not, two options. Now that it's nice enough to be outside, a garden hose wrapped around a pole works great. The neighbors think it's pretty cool too. Um, or like I'll use today, these water bottles right there. Uh, they're about three quarters full and I'm just gonna shake them just like battle ropes. So the battle ropes will take the place of the jump lunges for the remaining, remaining time in each of the two minute segments. And then we're gonna go through it one more time uh, with V-sit rotations instead of uh, the jump lunges. So, you're going to be doing these two-minute AMRAPs. You're going to be doing nine of them in total. Two minutes of work, one minute rest between each one. I think it's going to be spicy and awesome. I'm pretty excited, actually. So uh, if you want to do it with me, then you don't have to start a timer. Uh, if you want to do it on your own, that's fine, too. Just to have a timer for two minutes, one minute, two minutes, one minute, two minutes, one minute. So whatever works for you. This is going to be super fun. All right. <clears throat> so our first one starts with 10 burpees, 10 handstand push-ups, and then you've got jump lunges for the remainder of that two minutes, okay? Uh, then we got one minute rest. So, you ready? 10 burpees, 10 handstand push-ups, as many jump lunges as you can do. It's never a competition. Always a competition. Okay, let's do this. Get my timer ready. 10 burpees, 10 handstand push-ups. Let's Go. I was looking forward to this workout. 
15 seconds. Oh boy. Good job, guys. Keep going. Five seconds. Oh, my legs are heavy. All right. You got one minute rest here. It's good. All right, next round is 20, sorry, 10 sit-outs on each side and 20 sit-ups. And then our jump lunges again. That made my heart rate very, very high. It's good. Thirty seconds. Seriously, I'm so proud of you guys for how consistent you've been, following along, doing workouts on your own. It doesn't matter as long as you're getting moving, getting outside, clearing your brain a little bit. Super proud of you guys. I can't wait to hug you. All right, I'll even hug you when you're gross and sweaty. This next two minutes, ten sit-ups on each side, and then twenty sit-ups. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 20 sit-ups. That's six. Ten. Oh, we don't have long. Thirteen. Seventeen, keep going. Nineteen and twenty. We have just over forty-five seconds. <coughs> Good job, guys. Let's try to be consistent here. Do your best till your legs fill with blood. Shake them out and keep going. We got 25 seconds. Oh, I love this workout. Good 20 seconds, guys. Oh, and here we go. Last 10 seconds. Three. I kind of look forward to the battle ropes. Not really. It's going to be equally as terrible. Oh, my legs. All right, our next round, guys, 20 dips. So you can do that on a chair, couch, coffee table, box, picnic table, any of those things. 20 dips and 20 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings or plate swings or bleach jug or paint can or water bottle, anything. Okay, so you got 20 and 20, 20 dips, 20 kettlebell swings, weight swings, and then your jump lunges again, last round of jump lunges. Then we start up at the top again, and we do battle ropes instead of jump lunges. 10 seconds. All right, 20 dips, 20 kettlebell swings. Here we go. There's 10. Make sure you're reaching 90 and full extension at the top. 16. That's 20. 20 kettlebell or weight swings. On this, remembering we hip hinge, we're not squatting. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, good job. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
Nice work, guys. Here we go. Just under a minute. Jump lunges again. <clears throat> Good. Try to keep firing through those heels. Heel to toe spring. Good job. Good. 25 seconds left. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Come on, we've got 13 seconds left. Sorry, that was a three, two, one count for myself. <laughs> ah. All right, jump lunges, done. Done. Next we have, same thing, 10 burpees, 10 hands down push-ups, but this time for the remainder of the time, we're doing the battle rope. All right, that can be water bottles, soup cans, garden hose, uh, a rope if you have one, be anything, textbooks, whatever you want, even little baby dumbbells. Heck, if you don't have any of those things, you have to have one of those things. If you don't have soup cans, call me. I'll get you some. Drop some off for you. All right, we're almost there, guys. 10 seconds, 10 burpees, 10 handstand push-ups, and then we have that thing. Ready guys? Five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and last one, ten. Down, down, push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What do we have? Battle rope. Took us the same amount of time as it did last time. All right. For that battle rope, down into a partial squat, back straight, and we go. So just like you're doing battle ropes, imagine that rope swinging. Oh, over a minute is a hard thing to do with this. Good. 45 seconds left. Let's go. Again, I don't know what these water bottles they are. They're in the lost and found. They've come very, come in handy very many times. Oh, we have 30 seconds. Let's go. Good, back straight. Sitting back a bit. Good. We got 15 seconds. Let's do this right to the end. Even if I slow down, we're not stopping. 10 seconds. Come on, let's go. Five, four, three. Ah, it's so bad. So good. All right. So we've done four out of nine. It's not bad. Almost halfway. It's not even hard. To get all these things put on a t-shirt. Almost halfway done. It's not even hard. Oh, it's good. I like it. I like this kind of workout. The rest is long enough that you pretty much recover. Although my heart rate would say not. But all right, 15 seconds. We got 10 sit-ups on each side and 10 sit-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do them this way this time. One, 
two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five each leg. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty sit ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, come on, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, you got this, 20. Oh yeah, we got 50 seconds. Let's do this. Oh, we start so strong on this. It's pretty quick. We got it. Nice, stay consistent. Good. If you need a little break here, start doing up down at the same time. Gives it a little bit slower pace, and then get going on the alternating again. Good. We got 20 seconds. We can do this one. Awesome job. 10 seconds. Way to go, guys. Seven, four, three, two, go. One, nice work. One minute rest. Good. When we've got these minutes of rest here, this is time to fully recover as much as you can so that when you go, it's hard. Go hard. Okay? This is good. This is true like hit training, right? High intensity interval training where we go up, down, up, down. This is great for the metabolism. It's great for our brain, our mental fortitude, to push through when it's only two minutes. It's good. 25 seconds left. Then we got those 20 dips, 20 kettlebell swings, and our last round with the battle ropes, okay? <clears throat> 15 seconds. You guys doing okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Get ready for those dips. 10 dips, 20 dips, just kidding. 20 dips, 20 kettlebell swings. Ready? Let's go.
are done with those battle ropes. I feel like this shirt is suitable for this uh, COVID time we're living in. Super good with food all day long. And then my little treat before bed. Just a little one. All right, 30 seconds. We're starting that through one more time. This time, instead of the jump lunges or the battle ropes, we're gonna do a V-sit with rotations side to side, okay? If you burn out within that, you can bend your knees a little bit and keep going. We want that twist through the torso on this, okay? All right, three rounds left. That's it. I'm a little bit sweaty, just a little bit. All right, five seconds. Ready, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wall, handstand push up. Good, dive bomb push ups if you can do handstands. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. All right, so we we'll sit here. Good, if we can go legs straight and twist, that's great. If you start burning out here, Go ahead and bend the knees, but keep the heels off the floor. So keep them straight as long as you can. Again, doesn't matter how fast you do these, we just want that full twist through the torso. And cramp. You guys get that? Or like cramps up under your ribs? Good. Okay, switch into this. We got 30 seconds left, guys. Good. Keep going. Nice. 20 seconds left. We got this, guys. Keep going. Hip flexors, core, everything's burning here. It's good. 10 seconds. Good. Hang in there. And five. Table. Good job, guys. All right. How are you guys doing? All right. Two sets left. See, way more than halfway now. It's kind of a joke from this point on. Not even hard. Next round, we got 10 sit outs on each side, 20 sit ups, and then those V sits that. At this point, mine are turning into W sits pretty quick. I'll try. <clears throat> Good. 20 seconds left, guys. Whew, this one's making my whole body feel a little bit uh, COVID y, a little achy. All right. 10 sit outs on each side. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Sit ups for twenty. Four, five, keep going. That's ten. This one's going to be terrible into the V sit. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, good job. Fifteen, sixteen, 
17, almost there. 18, 19, and then 20. We are very consistent, guys, with how far we're getting on each one. Every round, it's about the same. All right, ready? Let's try. Rotate. I guess I don't need to count these. Oh, all right, we're switching. Oh, it's cramping. 20 seconds left, we can do it. Let's go, guys. Hang in there. So close. 10 seconds. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh my goodness. Ah, so bad, so good. One more set, guys. Let's go stretch these abs out for a second. Oh, my arms look really weird. They're all bumpy and stuff. Two minute MRAP, last one. 20 dips, 20 kettlebell swings, and then those V-sits. Oh, my abs are on fire. I can feel this one tomorrow. I think this is an awesome little workout. Ooh, I have a good one for you tomorrow, too. I sent it to Alana. She's going to video it for you tomorrow. I think you're going to like it. All right, we're almost there, guys. One last round. This is nine rounds. Take us into 27 minutes. Then we're done. All right. Dips we start with. 20 dips, 20 kettlebells. Ready? Let's go. Straight legs if you can. Feel extension at the top. Nine, ten. Good job. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good work. Those kettlebell swings into that hip hinge. Good, let's go. See how long you can go and switch it if you need to. This one is a little better because it wasn't sit-ups and stuff. So we might be able to hold it off a little longer. Let's go. We got 35 seconds left. Good job. Full twist. Both hands touch the floor on each side. That way you know your torso is actually twisting. Good. 20 seconds. Oh. Come on, 10 seconds. We can do this, guys. Eight, seven, come on. <laughs> we did it! All right, stretch that out just a little bit. Start with a baby cobra, so you can even start on your elbows like this. Hips on the ground, pushing the, the pubic bone into the floor. Letting your shoulders come down so you're pushing off the floor a bit. That's just going to stretch out the abs. The upper abs mostly. We'll get to the lower abs in a second. So hold this for about five more seconds. Good. And then if you can keep your hips on the floor and come up a little higher. Whatever feels okay for you and for your back. If this doesn't feel good, stay in the baby cobra. Baby cobra. Stretch this out. Good. If you want to bring it up more, you can. The hips might come off the ground at that point. Make sure you're just listening to your body. If your body doesn't like this, don't do this. All right? 
Stay in that baby cobra if you want. Good. Make this a little sharper, a little more of a stretch. Push your chin up to the roof. Good. Breathe. Awesome. Come back. Bring the heels to your butt or your butt to your heels. Good. Let that back kind of roll out slowly as you come forward. If you can bring your forehead to the ground, do so. If not, you can pile up your hands like this and put your forehead on your hands. And what you'll find is that as your back starts to relax here, you'll be able to take one hand away. And then as it relaxes a little bit more, you'll probably be able to take the other hand away and get yourself into this child pose. Breathe into your belly here. Just feel everything relax. Stretch out and round out in that back area here. You can put your arms out in front if you want. That'll stretch out the shoulders a bit as well. This is a really great stretch for calming yourself. Um, so if you're feeling at any point, and pretty normal right now, if you're feeling at any point a little anxious or anything like that, um, really try to breathe. Honestly, breathing has such a, a huge impact on everything else going on in our bodies, our brains. It's one thing we can control is our breathing our water intake, all the things that are really healthy for us, moving our body. But get yourself into that child's pose position and just breathe there. Guaranteed within a minute, and this for your kids too, um, guaranteed within a minute you're going to find that the stress feels lighter. Um, I know that sounds a little bit hippie-ish, but it's true, and right now we need to take control of the things that we can control, and one of those is our breathing, one of those is our water intake, what we are eating, what we are drinking, all those things are things we are in control of right now. So please uh, take advantage of that, take advantage of the things we're in control of and be happy. I love you guys, we love you guys, thank you for being a part of this with us, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love you, bye.